use those resources, when we pay for those resources, and cobalt is used in all the cell phones. Cobalt, 90% of the cobalt comes from the Congo and comes from the craton that creates the Congo that is under the Congo River. And when we go to electric cars, we're going to be depending on minerals from the Congo. And who controls those minerals? And who benefits from the uh, payments that anyone makes for those minerals? Those are the questions that have to be answered. And this is the Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, and that sits on the craton, the Congo craton that I mentioned from the very beginning, where those minerals come from. And that is the problem, and there is constant warfare going on here, and that warfare is fighting over the control of the profits which are not going toward the development of the countries but they're going to the pockets of what are called the gatekeepers of these and these are the, the people who control the political system but the political systems do not reflect the ethnic systems when africa was divided by Europeans in 1885, without a single African ever invited or consulted at these meetings, you can see that countries were simply drawn across. The borders were drawn here and there. Because that's where Germany claimed this is what Spain claimed, this is what Italy claimed, this is France and Britain, whatever they claimed. And of course they wanted the gold, at that time there were different resources. And that's why when you think of Africa, you think of Africa, you don't think of Nigeria, of Ghana, of Benin, of Togo. You think of a continent because to the people themselves, those borders are irrelevant. They don't care because their relatives, those colors, represent ethnic groups, language groups. And half of your language group is in one country, the other half is in the other. So what is the border to you? It's irrelevant. And I've, I've been there, I've been to Burkina Faso where in the village of Tibela, people would just walk across to Ghana to visit their cousins. Or where they had a, 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 Benin had an election and they claimed it was the birther movement and they claimed that the guy running for president, Benin, wasn't born in Benin. And he said, how do I know where I was born? He said, I had to ask my mother, and my mother's dead. It doesn't make any difference. I speak your language, and I'm one of you. The border is irrelevant. And this is part of the nature of Africa as a cultural entity with something like 5,000 languages and 3,000 ethnic groups. Thank you very much.